welcome to the bottom of the rabbit hole salute to all the matrix university subscribers tuning in you are appreciated in this video we are going to talk about the matrix comic the miller's tale of course that means there will be spoilers ahead and if this is your first time down here or you want to know everything about the matrix universe be sure to like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss out on any future yellow pilled content the story and art for the miller's tale was created by Paul Chadwick. Chadwick is known for his comic series Concrete about a man trapped in a rock-coated body. He has also worked as a storyboard artist on such films as Strange Brew, Pee-wee's Big Adventure, and Miracle Mile. Within the Matrix universe, Chadwick is credited with three different Matrix comics, as well as being the Wachowski-appointed story writer for The Matrix Online. The Miller's Tale opens up with a young boy who is later revealed to be a young Morpheus, patiently waiting for a Zion tradition to begin. This event is the storytelling of Jeffrey, who was one of the first liberated from the Matrix. During one of the many dangerous scavenger hunts to the surface for supplies, he found an old stash of discs that contained movies. One of these films he found particularly inspiring. The movie being referenced is titled Days of Heaven, starring a young Richard Gere, which is about a young couple who harvest crops for a wealthy farmer, but the film is most well known for its cinematography. What caught Jeffrey's attention the most was the repeated image of vast wheat fields under the sun. The locusts that plagued the farmers also reminded him of the machines. He had tasted bread as a child in the Matrix, but couldn't remember what it tasted like, which is making reference to Mouse questioning the machine's ability to code the flavor of tasty wheat in the original Matrix film. Jeffrey began to research wheat and was able to find the location of a seed depository. He then came up with a plan to retrieve the seeds and steal UV lights from the machines to grow fresh wheat. A small young group then set out on a long surface trek beyond the mega cities to the far countryside where no matrix born human had ever been. After a month of traveling by foot in the rain, they arrived at a university town that was covered in wet weeds. He had led them to the right building and they stuffed their backpacks with the preserved seeds. On the trip back, the group was spotted by a surface seeker that killed his other five friends, leaving him the lone survivor. He did not want them to have died in vain, and after a dozen attempts, Jeffrey was finally able to grow the wheat successfully. He milled the seeds by hand, mixed dough, and baked a handful of dry, coarse, burnt loaves. The verdict was unanimous. Everyone in Zion loved the burnt bread. They set up tents to protect against the rain, along hot power lines far from any city, drawing power for the UV lights. Problems came but were overcome. The system worked and the citizens of Zion ate bread. As the years passed, the skills of the farmers and bakers grew, and for years, the siphoning of power went unnoticed. But eventually the machines found the farm, and no human survived the battle of the wheat fields where Jeffrey himself was killed. As a result, Twice a year, a portion of the stockpiled grain is used for the bread feast to honor those who lost their lives to provide the wheat. After the story is told, we see a young Morpheus enjoying the bread and appreciating the sacrifice that was required to make it. In the final scenes, there is wheat growing at the edge of the tents that somehow resists mold and thrives in moisture. The details and origin of such a mutation isn't specified but perhaps Jeffrey's sacrifice will feed future generations on the surface one day. Don't forget to show off your Matrix fandom by ordering the custom-made Resurrection Code sneakers. If you appreciate this kind of yellow-pilled content, be sure to share it on other platforms like Facebook, Reddit, Twitter. And remember, as one realizes that one is a dream figure in another person's dream, that is self-awareness.